What's going on everyone, Olito back here with a brand new video on the channel. Today guys, I will be doing kind of an analyzing session as we did against the Marilmas. But now, today, we're going to be analyzing my game versus Ivan Boros Legend Lapanje in Weekly League. I mean, Boros has been kind of my mentor when it comes to FIFA. And I think it's nice, you know, seeing uh, myself uh, learning a lot from him, of course. And me versus playing against the guy that I... Uh, basically taught me a lot, right? So uh, in today's video, we're doing an analyze video basically in the mind of a pro against Boris Legend. So let's just jump in to today's video. So yes, guys, as you see in the background, Lito RTG versus Bottas RTG. So my RTG against Boris Road to Glory. And I mean, if you look at his team and compare it to mine, I think his team is better than mine. To be honest, he has Hansen, Bonmati, etc. And I was playing with the Milan Pass and Present squad. And then if we jump forward a bit, you will we'll see... Boris is live, he's pausing as well. You can see me there at the bottom right. Hi, big bro, I tell him. And now, let's just jump into today's game and see what it really ended on. So, going into our first attack, you see that we sent Tiu, uh, at all, always at the start of the kind of the build-up. The thing I do here, though, I could ship shot him here, which could have worked out. But the thing I see, I already sent Baju. And you see that he is making his run at the back post, and I try to cross it to him. Now, I think this is a good kind of choice for me. I think if I look back at this, I wouldn't have done anything wrong. The thing I try to do here, though, I see already he's um, Varane at the moment. He's uh, choosing Varane at the moment, trying to be on me with Rui Costa. This, the thing I see, Shevchenko is making a great run upwards, but I also see that I have some extra space with Theo Hernandez. So the thing I do, I just play Theo here and we will get a 1v1 chance. And I already see, okay, he's not even selecting Llorente. And you see that I already loaded up for the pass to Theo. So an extra pass to Theo. And from here, I mean, Theo Hernandez with his left should be scoring this far post. And he does. And we score a very, very good goal to take the lead against Boris. So the second sequence I want to show you guys is basically a very good sequence. The thing I recognize here is that he is sending his player. And I already make sure that if he passes it, I will intercept it with Dest, who is my right back. The thing I do, I select Dest and I start my counter attack from here. You see that I sent Rui Costa just with the L1 towards him, which makes Rui Costa making a perfect run in behind. This also makes Ivan don't really know if he should push on me or not here. So he lets me um, take the space. And this is perfect, okay. So you see, I send Rui Costa. Here I send Dest to make the run in behind because we always want to aim for the corner flag. We send uh, Dest, we go back post. I get a bit lucky here because Tio should intercept this ball in general. But just keep on watching how I do it. Here I could play in uh, Liao and take a first uh, first time shot, which I don't. Here, for example, I do the ball with Rui Costa. I could shoot a Trevela. I think if I Trevela this, we might have a good chance of scoring. So looking back at this, I probably should have done it, but it's totally fine. Because if we look at how I build up this attack, this patience is really what you guys need to use sometimes against good players. You see, I have so many opportunities trying to find Liao. And overall, here, Boris does as well. He puts his uh, body in front of the shot, both with Llorente and Blanc, which is perfect for him. Here, I shouldn't be able to score. I don't really score, but I get super, super lucky winning the bounce back and then Shevchenko scores to make it 2-0. So overall, you see, the patience is key, but always trying to make him drag his players out of position to create some space for yourself, which in the end of the day I did, but of course that goal was a very, very bad one. Here we have a great kind of sequence because I know a lot of casual players do this and also pro players do this and this can happen to me and this can happen to Boris, it can happen to anyone, but the thing that you shouldn't never do is to send a blank like Boris does here because if he passes this wrong with you to someone, you see how much space Shevchenko has in behind. The thing Boris does here is that he's sending Blanc and I read the pass quite quickly. You see, now he's already making a pass. I read the passing lane towards Blanc. I intercept it with my Gattuso and I start my counter attack from here. But never, ever, ever send your center backs. If you're not desperate, of course, if you need to score by the last, uh, by the last 10 minutes of the game and you're trailing, of course do it. But not really when... You do it and it's like an uh, equal game or if you're leading by one goal, don't take the risk to send center backs. That's definitely one of my biggest tips that I would advise you guys to use. And I mean, if we still continue in this kind of sequence where he sent Blanc, now Blanc is back in position, which is perfect for him. The thing I try to do here, though, is to always find the extra pass in the outside of the box. I could play Rui Costa here and take the ball inside and shoot, but I wasn't really comfortable that Rui Costa would win the duel against Theo. So the thing I do, as you see, we have... I think, I believe that's Gattuso, that's opening space. So I play Gattuso, and here I try to speed up the tempo. I see if I can play Pirlo, he can play a first time pass into either Liao or to Baggio, I believe that is inside the box. And we do it, perfect to Liao. Here, I think 
Liao should be scoring this far post. Yeah, even though I didn't green time this, I think Liao should be scoring it. But Courtois makes a very, very good save. And it's still only 2-0 in this game. And I mean, against Boris, you need to score a few goals. Because he's very, very good when it comes to the attacking play, but also in defense. So, we talked about how we cut it back from the wing, right? But the thing you could also use, if you're not really feeling comfortable with cutting it back from... Basically, this position back to your CMs is that you can always try to find your striker with a play lock. So, the thing I do here, I see that he doesn't really cover the run of Shevchenko. So, I do play lock towards the first post. But I also see now I have Baggio and Liao making a great run inside the box. So, the thing I try to do here, I try to play Baggio. I first try to make him step out with Blanc, which he does here. And in general, I think on a good FIFA game, you know, Rui Costa should be making this first time pass to Baggio. And he does, which is very, very good. But Baggio here with the left foot. Probably shouldn't score, but we still create a very, very good opportunity and Courtois makes a very good save. If we look back at this kind of chance, I think I'm doing something wrong here. Because the thing I do, which is very good, I create the space with death, which is perfect. But in this case, when I'm doing the play lock, it's not bad to find the ball on the inside. But I would, in general, try to take a bit more space with death, to be honest, than playing it here this early. Even though this space is really good to find, because we already see, now when I did the play lock, he already selected Blanc. He was to you before, but because I'm doing the play lock, he selects Blanc to try to intercept the, intercept the pass. So if I would have faked this play lock and kept on running with Dest, I would have had a better opportunity. Because in the end of the day, you see, I find Baju, I don't really have a lot of space, and he does this really well selecting Blanc, and then basically taking the ball from me and starting his counterattack. Yes, from the corner, we try to get this ball roll Trevela, but we see Boris, he's already moving his keeper. Which basically makes this chance not really a golden opportunity anymore. Usually a good guy with Trevela can score this opportunity. But as we saw there, by the left, Boris is moving his keeper in a perfect direction. Which makes this chance basically go away. You see, we do it to Rio Costa. I tried to shoot it first post because I was expecting him to move it more far post. But Boris moves the keeper in perfect uh, position. And I mean, overall, a quite an easy save for Courtois. So, Boris made some subs in the 65th minute, so um, 25 minutes left, he is losing by two goals, I'm leading with two goals, so I should just play it out. The thing Boris does this super well though, is that he keeps on playing the byline, which is the most effective way in EFC 24. Here, I'm expecting him to cut back. The thing he does, he cuts on the inside, which is perfect by him. And in general, I think this is good defending from me. I don't think this pass should be reaching Kubo inside the box. I think Frimpong is covering it. Because as you see over his head, I'm doing the second man press. And then at the same time trying to cover... I think that, I believe that's Griezmann or Graham Hansen inside the box there. By the first post. But he finds it with a double tap to Mitoma. Uh, my bad, it was not Kubo, it was Mitoma. And then overall, Mitoma, very easy finish to make it 2-1. So overall, a really good goal. But I think I defended it quite okay. But overall, Boris did super well going on the byline there. We saw that kind of finesse. And after this, Boris does this super well. He plays the... Pass to Mitoma, which is a perfect pass from Llorente, cutting through my midfield, which we don't really want to. But now he did it, which is perfect by him. The thing he does here really well, though, is that he keeps on continuing doing the R1 sprint and keeps up the pace with Mitoma. He's by at, at the same time sending Hansen, and he sees he's playing Hansen when I'm not selecting any of my center backs, which is perfect by him. I'm selecting Tomori a bit too late. Graham is kind of 1v1 with the keeper, but overall Barres is making a great tackle. And basically defend our goal. So we see at the top left corner it's the 80th minute. Boras needs to score one more goal to uh, get the equalizer back. The thing we do we find Shevchenko here which is perfect. And we see that Kubo is making this threatening run inside the box. So I'm trying to find Kubo. The thing I'm trying to do here is to try to make his players pull out of position. So Boras doing a second man press here with Va uh, Varan And also trying to cover Shevchenko with Blanc at the same time. I recognize this, so the thing I want to do, I will take a touch backwards and try to find Dembele in space. The thing that Boris does here super well though, is this automatic kind of slide tackle with Varan, perfect defending, a bit risky, but I still like it, because it's perfect defending from Boris, and he slide tackles, makes a perfect challenge, and then, did he go on to score? Who knows, we'll see. It, trailing by one goal is Boris. The thing we do super well here though, is that Dembele... Has some great space here. The thing I will keep on doing is just the R1 dribbling. Because we know Dembele's R1 dribbling is very, very good. And his de defense is very tired by the end of the game. So the thing we do here, we do R1 dribbling just between Llorente and Nitoma. Because here it's very, very hard to defend. Boros either needs to cover the kind of space that I'm going to take with uh, Dembele. Which is going to be just in a straight line. Or he needs to cover the extra pass to Shevchenko. He needs to guess basically. So the thing he does, he guesses that I will pass it to Shevchenko. I'm not. I'm just running in a straight line with Dembele. Boris is moving the keeper to the back post, which basically, I think, denies this goal. 
And as we see, I should be green timing this with Dembele. I think if I green time this, it's a guaranteed goal. You see, 86 minutes, it would have been game set match from this point. But Boros moves the keeper and makes a very, very good save. Though, from the corner, we will be doing the Ulilito special, as we always talked about. And... I think the only little special is something that you all guys need to learn. You basically need to go on the byline. When you find this kind of space and when you're this close to the keeper, the basic thing you see at the top right of, of uh, the screen, I'm holding in L1 and doing the ball roll basically to, to, towards the right side to take the ball roll away from the keeper. But the thing I do is I do the ball roll, but I also hold in L1, which makes us do the La Croqueta, which is the perfect skill move from this kind of position. You want to do the La Croqueta shot, which we call the only little special, by the way. And the thing we do... We do the La Croqueta, as you see, we're away from the keeper, and then finding the finish, and we make it 3-1 into this game, and this is going to be game, set, match. And, uh, I mean, these kind of small, small, small details could generate a lot of goals, and in general, I think, with the Ulelito Special, I'm scoring at least once every game with the Ulelito Special, and that's definitely something that you need to add to your FIFA repertoire. And by now, I mean... Boris, of course, needs to, to score two very quick goals. Um, I think I'm playing this pretty well, uh, playing out of press, and we managed to win the game 3-1. And if we, if we look at the stats after the game, I mean, I think I deserve this win, of course. Uh, it's 13 to 2 shots. I had a lot of long shots as well, so I don't think really the, the shots matter too much. In the end of the day, it matters who scores the most goals. And in this game, we were the better side, I think. Overall, Boris re played really, really well. I mean... In general, I should be beating Boros, of course, because nowadays he's a content creator and not really a pro player anymore, and I practice versus the best pros every single day, right? So, I should be beating him. GG's to Boros Legend. I will um, post this link down below for you guys. I think most of you guys are already following him. One of the biggest FIFA content creators out there. So, thank you so much for watching this video, and um, yeah. Yeah, Javi, I'll redo that with Sass again. So, um... Basically, if we look at the stats of the game, I think we deserve this win overall. Of course, I should be beating Boris as well. He is more of a content creator nowadays, uh, not really competing on the highest level as I do, playing versus the best pros and pra practicing versus the best pros every single day, right? So if we look at the stats, 13 to 2 shots, expected goals 3.6 to 11, uh, oh, sorry, put to 1.1. Um, a bit more pauses, and in general, I think um, yeah, I had a slightly bit of more possession, not too much. Uh, but overall, I think we deserved it. And we managed to win the game 3-1 in general. But GG's to Boros. I will leave his link to his channel down below. I think most of you guys know him already by now. But overall, as I said, I hope you learned a lot from this kind of video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, don't forget to leave a like. Comment something nice down below if you like this kind of series. Where I try to teach you guys what I do in different kind of scenarios. And talk through my gameplay. And last but not least, don't forget to subscribe either. That means a lot. The road to 50k subscribers is on chat. And we're soon there. So, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, and as always, peace.